Beauty and the Beast, the fairy tale that has been loved by many children could actually be based on a true story. Pedro Gonzalez was born in the Canary Islands in 1537. He suffered from congenital hypertrichosis, a rare disease in which the body is covered with lots of hair. When he was 10, he was captured and gifted to King Henry II of France. He was treated like an animal and probably kept in a cage because no one knew if he was dangerous. Once it was determined that he wasn't, the king decided to conduct an experiment. He wanted to see if he could tame this wild creature and turn him into an educated gentleman. First, he was given a new Latin name. So, Pedro Gonzalez became Petrus Gonsalves. Then, a proper education. Petrus proved to be quite intelligent and even learned many languages. He eventually held a place of honor in the court, but he was never considered an equal because of his appearance. When the king died in 1559, his wife Catherine de' Medici decided to conduct her own experiment. Find a very beautiful wife for the beast so as to produce children. A young French woman named Catherine, the daughter of a royal court servant, seemed ideal. The girl didn't know about Petrus' appearance and was shocked when she first saw him at the altar. They had six or seven children, four of them born with the same condition as their father. The family became very famous as they kept going from court to court all over Europe. They eventually settled in Italy under the protection or better say patronage of the Duke of Farnese. They were never actually free and were treated as curiosities. It is said that their kids were gifted away as pets by the duke to noblemen, who were not content with owning mere portraits of the unusual children. The Duke of Farnese even gave young Antoinetta Gonsalves to his mistress Lady Isabella Palavicina as a token of affection. Although we know that Catherine died in 1623, it is unknown what eventually happened to Petrus and their children. Some believe that he died in 1618, but there is no registration of his passing. Only people who were given last rites were entered in the registrar of death. So there is some speculation that even in his final hours, Petrus was still treated as an oddity rather than a human and was not given last rites.